So what I did is I computed my partial sum for 3. And now what I'm going to do is, instead of finishing up my partial sum, I'm going to now go ahead and look at um, the infinite series of this. Now I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go up to infinity. So I'm not going to stop at 3. I'm going to do 10 to the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, to the 3rd. Well, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we know infinity does not have an actual value that we can stop, that we can do anything, right? right? So I will can continue to be writing numbers for the rest of my life, right, as long as we can go on this. However, if we notice, if I keep on getting bigger, all I'm going to just keep, keep on adding is 0.0003. Plus, and I'm just going to keep on adding an extra 0. So what is going to happen to this value? I'm just going to keep on adding 3's to it, right? Now, I could keep on adding 3's for the rest of my life, but that's not going to change the answer. So when we look at 0.3333333, or what we like to say, right, repeating, means it's going to repeat on and on and on forever. That's going to actually give us a value. And you remember what, anybody know what 0.33? Yes, exactly. That is equal to 1 third. So for this infinite series, since we actually have a repeating decimal, when we go to the infinite point, we actually have a repeating decimal, which is actually going to give us a value of 1 third. So this would be what we call an infinite series, where yes, you could say, well, how am I going to add up infinite, infinite terms, right? Well, we don't have to. We just need to be able to find out what the pattern, what they're creating, and then see if that can create us a value that we can make. OK? So a little tip, FYI. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say like.